It's not a great thing, you know, looking in the mirror and not being happy with how you look. Growing up was um, hell. There have definitely been times that I've looked in the mirror and hated what I see. You hate your own body because it does not do what you want it to do. This is a baby step towards becoming more accepting of who you are. Comments from the past, they have a lasting effect on your self-esteem. Everyone's different and everyone's beautiful. It's just about embracing what we have and going with it. Right now, I feel really amazing. Boys think that the girls should have less or no hair down there. And that's why I think it's really important for them to see naked bodies in the flesh. Zero, please. <laughs> Oh, this is really happening. <laughs> We're trying to turn some negative body image that we all have about ourselves into a wonderful, positive portrait. If you don't do things in life that scare you, then you don't achieve. This is the start of a new you. In you get! <laughs> the idea that having pubic hair increases the risk of all STIs simply is not true. So I chose my pubic hair over the man, and uh, and I've been hairy ever since. And Pubes before dudes. Well, respect yeah. to you. <laughs> Soon as I realised that I was transgender, and that top surgery existed, I wanted that first. What do you think like postnatal depression means to you? And I can remember just looking at him and just not wanting to feed him, not wanting to cuddle him. That's when I knew I needed some help. Do you worry about people staring at you? I am different and I enjoy being different. Five, six inches. Five inches. Oh, flaccid. Don't stop trying. Baby, how you... You'll always find a way. If you could give me my legs and arms back tomorrow, I wouldn't want to take them back. You are a beautiful, glorious, and finished work of art. You get to create who you are.